today we'll be looking at simultaneous logarithmic equations so initially we had normal simultaneous equations you can look at the videos um, which we had posted previously but this time we actually have simultaneous log equations so it's very similar to the normal simultaneous equation but it's just that here you're going to require logarithms you might require you might be required to change base you might be required to do stuff that involve logs that's the difference between a normal simultaneous equation and a simultaneous log equation so i have this equation log x base 3 plus 4 log y base 9 is equal to 2 and 2 log x base 4 plus log y base 2 is equal to 1 so let me go ahead and number these equations equation 1 and equation 2 whenever you're solving a logarithmic equation you need to make sure that you have it in its simplest form possible so let's start with equation 1 and let's try to make it in a very simple form so it becomes very easy for us to solve the equations equation 1 has log x base 3 plus 4 log y base 9 is equal to 2 now I want to change these to base 3 because base 3 is the smaller base and 9 is a multi it's it's a power of 3 because 3 squared is equal to 9 therefore it's best if I change it to base 3 so this can also be written in bracket form so this is log x base 3 plus 4 log y base 3 over log 9 base 3 is equal to 2 I've I've done it directly if you if you aren't really understanding this you can have a look at our change of base technique video um, which clearly explains this so from here I'll be able to simplify stuff because 3 squared is equal to 9 this is the same as log 3 squared base 3 and because of the rules of logs I'm able to bring the 2 down so this becomes 2 log 3 base 3 and because these are the same this is actually 1 so that becomes 2 times 1 which is 2 therefore log 9 base 3 is actually 2 this is how it ends up so this can also be written um, in this form if I were to just remove the bracket I haven't really changed anything here but by the fact that I have removed the bracket um, I'm allowed to remove this 2 and leave it like that so I'm left with log x base 3 plus 2 log y base 3 is equal to 2 now one thing I want you to realize is if I have something like 2 log y base 3 this is the same as log y squared base 3 so I've done it this way I've just worked back so because I have it log y squared base 3 if I have if I move the the power the 2 on the other side I get something like this so they're the same thing so this is this is how it can be written so I will write it in the normal form in the way how it's actually supposed to be so this is log x base 3 plus log y squared base 3 is equal to 2 notice that the bases are the same now they're all 3 so it's easy for me to now use the laws of logarithms which I discussed in the previous videos so this is the same as log 3 into x y squared is equal to 2 this is a law which we had discussed in the previous video so if you're a bit confused you can have a look at that so log x y squared base 3 is equal to 2 from here um, I want to remove the log because I want to have it the simplest form possible so I can have the 3 on the other side so therefore x y squared is equal to 3 squared which is equal to 9 this is one part of the equation so basically I've transformed this equation equation 1 into something like this very simple and it's uh, very it's very easy to do now I'm working with the second equation the second equation is 2 log x base 4 plus log y base 2 is equal to 1 I've just written it um, directly from the question now I want to make this also um, into a very simple equation then I'll be able to solve it very easily so here um, I want first I'll put the brackets 
and then I want this to be base 2 because 2 squared is equal to 4. It's best if you go for the smallest base possible. So always have the smallest base. So let's start changing this. So this is going to be 2 log x base 2 divided by log 4 base 2. Again, I've used the change of base technique. This is all this is the same as 2 because log 4 base 2 is equal to log 2 squared base 2 which is equal to 2 log 2 base 2 which is equal to 2. I hope now you're getting the hang of it so I can move a bit fast now. So because this is supposed to be 2 my my value would be 2 log x base 2 divided by 2 plus log y base 2 is equal to 1 these two can cancel out so I'm left with log x base 2 plus log y base 2 is equal to 1 again I have my bases um, as the same they are both 2 so now I can use the normal laws of logarithms I can combine this so this is the same as log x y base 2 is equal to 1 I have combined this because the bases are the same and they are adding up so x and y multiply Therefore, because I want to remove the log, I move the 2 to the other side of the equation. So I have xy is equal to 2 power 1, which is equal to 2. And this becomes my second equation. So I've written equation 1 and equation 2 down. This is my equation 1, which I just got earlier. And this is my equation 2, which I got now. Now I have to find the values of x and y. Here we don't have any um, x plus y or x minus y. We don't have any um, operation to do. So basically there is no elimination method that can be used here. What we could do is we could use the substitution method. So in this case we could have x y squared is equal to 9. Therefore x is equal to 9 over y squared. If we have x is equal to 9 over y squared we can substitute it into x y is equal to 2 and then we can get our value of y then we can substitute to get the value of x. I want to show you one more method in which you can use um, to solve equations of this sort. So there's a multiplication here. So these are all product equations because there's xy squared and xy. One way on which you can do is you could do equation 1 divided by equation 2. This is the same as xy squared is equal to 9 divided by xy is equal to 2. If I divide them, I notice that these two things go, the x goes, y goes with y squared, so I'm left with y, and then I have 9 over 2. So this gives me as y is equal to 9 over 2. So this is another method on how you can solve. I'm dividing these equations, and this only applies to equations of this sort. So because I've divided them, I was able to uh, I was able to obtain y only by dividing them so I can get y as 9 over 2 now I can substitute y into any of these equations to get my value of x so let's use equation 2 xy is equal to 2 and because y is 9 over 2 x into 9 over 2 is equal to 2 therefore x is equal to 2 divided by 9 over 2 which is equal to 4 over 9. So for this equation we are able to get the values of x and y. The values of x is equal to 4 over 9 and the value of y is equal to 9 over 2. Therefore for this equation our value of x is equal to 4 over 9 and our value of y is equal to 9 over 2 and we have solved the equation.